What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is my very special guest today. This is my friend Dawn, who you guys have seen in my vlogs. We decided to do a get ready with me today with some wine. Um, we talk about just random stuff from YouTube to makeup to work, like everything but and how we met. she cuts most of it out because she did not have a good time. She was <laughs> like, literally, I was pink eyeshadow in deep. And she was like, should we Can start? We start yeah. Over? No, we're not starting over. If you guys wanted to see how we got these looks, please keep on watching. Bye. So we're going to do like something that we don't usually do. I think Dawn says she was going to do a, a halo eye. I'm just going to do something bright and colorful because I never wear bright and colorful makeup anymore. Ever since I left Sephora, I stopped. I'm, I became boring. I'm just basic and neutral is my jam. <laughs> That's what I do. We were going to answer questions, but nobody Literally sent nobody questions. sent us any questions, so... We're losers. It's fine. Can I do my eyes first since that's what you do first? Try it. Yeah. I've done it before, but I always do my face first. Okay, well, I'm going to prime my face. So I got both of these in my boxy charm box. That looks nice. And I freaking love them. If you don't have boxy charm and you want to get into makeup, it's a really good way to get makeup delivered to you and like really good makeup for only like 20 bucks a month. And each box is like has a value of over like $100 every time. It's mm -hmm. full size. Yeah, full size products. And then you can also buy like a bigger box. This is definitely not sponsored by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, we're not big enough. Boxy charm. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not. This video is definitely not sponsored. We're, we're not yeah. being paid for this. We're not big enough for that yet. <laughs> um, But anyway, yeah, you could like purchase a bigger box and they'll send you even like more stuff, like extra stuff. But like the basic box that I have is just the $20 one and you just get makeup every month and it's awesome. And you'll get stuff in your box that you don't even know that you needed. Like these primers, I'm like, I've never used primers like this before. Also, Dawn also has really good skin. She doesn't need much, guys. Every time I see her, it's not fair. I just got that Asian glow, you know? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys might wonder how we know each other. Dawn and I actually work together. I actually heard of Dawn's name like around the Asian community here and I've heard of her Which, but I've, I've never like knew I'm her. like what are y'all saying about me? I just all good things like all the boys were like crazy over her. She's taken too by the way I don't know why but everybody calls me and my boyfriend mom and dad because you guys are mom and dad literally I call Dawn and her boyfriend for every minor and major inconvenience in my life and her boyfriend knows exactly what's going on he in my life too. knows everything that goes on. But I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this video works with us. So you all probably don't care how we met or anything like that. But I remember the first day I, I, I saw Dawn at work, I was just like, is this girl gonna be chill? She was totally different. She is just not like, she doesn't gossip, she doesn't talk crap. Like, she is just the coolest person ever. And I knew from that moment, me and her were gonna be like best friends. We are literally work best friends. Shout out to Kristen. She asked a She a was question. the only person that yeah. asked a question. <laughs> She's the only Thank person. Thank you, Kristen, for your love and support. So basically, Kristen's question was, how do we manage or how do we balance wearing like, full glam versus no makeup at all. Dawn and I, both of us, sometimes we go to work with no makeup and sometimes we go to work with like full glam makeup. And basically Kristen's question is, how do you balance that? Because she'll get comments saying like, oh my gosh, like you look so good when you wear a full face of makeup. Why don't you do this every day? And then on days where she doesn't wear makeup, people are just kind of like quiet, like cricket chirps. But for me, I just kind of don't care anymore. Back in May, I had my skin freak out and like break out and it was probably the worst that it's been in years. I remember like crying to Dawn in the back because it was so bad. But 
After that, I realized I really don't need to wear makeup at work. I get lash extensions, which there's pros and cons to that, but I always feel like I look ready even if I don't have makeup on. Mm -hmm. And I also just don't care. Like I think a big part of it is like your self-confidence and how you feel in your own skin and you shouldn't always worry about what people are saying or thinking of you. So I think that's like self-image is like a huge part of that. Yeah. And just being comfortable with what you look like. And even if you like are trying to impress a guy, like he's gonna see you without makeup someday. Mm -hmm. And if he's not okay with that, then he's a piece of crap. And, and you don't you need him. You should probably dump his ass. Exactly. And you don't need to be with this man. Dawn, when you and your boyfriend first started dating, did you like always wear makeup in front of him? Yeah, I did. I would like sleep with my makeup on. Really? Yeah. But I don't know. I feel it like it gets comfortable with time. Yeah, you just get comfortable. Because eventually, like, you're not gonna take a shower and then like leave your face on. Yeah. You can't sleep with your makeup on every night. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that you just gotta you just gotta show that side of you i think like because i had the mentality of like oh my coworkers literally saw me at my worst they they'll be fine like if i don't wear makeup when i first started i used to wear makeup every single day and th that's like nine hour shifts five days a week i noticed that my skin was just not happy like i was breaking out a bunch and i felt like i always had to take that extra time to do my makeup but trust me I like my sleep better. Oh my gosh, I love my sleep. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I'm waking up and I'm just leaving. Yep, like I that's exactly how I feel. Sunscreen is the last thing I put on my face before I leave. Another thing going on with like Kristen's question is like, how do you kind of balance that? What I did was I started to wear less and less makeup as the time went by, as I started working at our workplace. And I went to like full glam, lashes, everything to maybe no eye makeup and just concealer and brows and then it just slowly phased out to no makeup at all which it's so nice because I don't feel like makeup should define you you know I don't know people who like to just wear makeup every day just because they can but I'm lazy so I prefer my sleep I'm so lazy this is why I get lash extensions Dawn hmm Tell me about your skincare routine. Ladies and gentlemen, the secrets to Dawn's perfect the skin. The secret to my skincare. Never sleep with your makeup on. I use makeup wipes, which I probably should use less of because it's really harsh on your skin. But sometimes I'll wash my face with like a cleanser. I use Dermalogica mm -hmm. cleanser, which is really nice. So I like to use um, Origins. I don't know, you might have it. But drink up. Drink up intensive. Yes. I loved that one. It's really good as like a night cream too. I use it as a freaking moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Like my skin just soaks it all up and it feels so good and it smells so good. And then I also just recently bought um, Origins Mushroom the Gel mushroom Lotion. Oh, it's a lotion? Mm-hmm. And it's really, really slick. It's a gel, so it's like really wet. Mm -hmm. Um, but my skin just soaks that up as well. And then I use Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, which is one of my favorite things ever. It smells so good and it makes you feel like you just like fairies just like misted your face. It feels amazing. So ever since I've known Dawn, but, she's always had dry skin too. Yeah, like my nose will peel. I should exfoliate more, but I just haven't found like an exfoliator that I've fallen in love with yeah so it's been really do you like those scrubs or like do you like chemical exfoliators i don't do chemical exfoliators i do scrubs um i've done the dr brandt microdermabrasion microderm is that what you yeah. call it microdermabrasion yeah. yeah it's like this little black squeezy bottle and like the the scrub in it is so fine that it actually feels like it's like exfoliating your face because really? i feel like a lot of exfoliators are really chunky mm -hmm. so tell me about like did you feel like having monolids is was really difficult to do makeup around when i first started wearing makeup like i had no idea like no youtuber back in the day had the same eye shape as me 
the youtuber that i watched that had the same eye shape as me was jen che she did like a lot that had to do with like eyeliner and that's kind of where i learned but like because i don't have a fold do you have a monolid Mm -mm. Yeah, so Dawn has like the crease and like the fold right there, but I, I don't have a fold So my eyeliner has to be super thick and like yeah. me experimenting with my eyeliner was probably the hardest part Because I didn't know how thick I wanted it. I didn't know like how to wing it out or anything like that or, like have it transfer Yeah, exactly because yeah. I remember I didn't know about like eye primer or anything back in the day and so when I would wear eyeliner, I would look like a raccoon and like the eyeliner would transfer up here and transfer down here and the first eyeshadow primer I remember buying, Urban Decay Primer Potion. That was the first eye primer I bought as well. It's very tacky. When you put it down, it would just cling on to like everything. Right. Which made blending just a little more difficult because you had to really get in there. I also feel like if you ever first start with makeup, the Urban Decay Primer is like a must have. Especially if you're going to start wearing eyeshadow. What got you into makeup? Well, when I was younger, my mom never let me wear makeup. It, was, it wasn't until I was 17 and I just, she told me that I didn't need it, I shouldn't wear it. It was when I was in my junior year, I started wearing eyeliner and I started like plucking my brows. I did have a bad brow moment. Did you ever have one of those? Everybody has <laughs> Okay, my mom, she waxed my eyebrow once and I still have this like bald spot. And I've had my eyebrows microbladed so you can't really see mm -hmm. it anymore, but it's still like I still have to fill it in because it's like a scar. Oh know? my gosh. And she yeah, I guess the wax was like too hot. Mm -hmm. And so it my hair just doesn't grow anymore right there so I have to fill that part in dang um I've had it microbladed but it's still like a scar so it didn't pick up the pigment mm -hmm. that well but that's yeah crazy. that's my bad brow moment and that was like before I even filled my brows in so I would just walk around with like a like a, a bald spot yeah in my eyebrow I just over tweezed like my brows the inner part right here were like way over tweezed so my, my brows would start like right in the middle of my my eyes. They were so bad. I don't know why no one told me. <laughs> Y'all are shady. Look out for your friends. I know. I mean I get being nice and stuff but if your friend is having a really bad brow moment. Tell them. Let them know. If you don't say something, other people are going to be talking crap. And then you'll you'll just like feel more embarrassed that nobody like told you and then you're going to look back at your photos and be like, why didn't anybody look out for me? Exactly, which I feel that <laughs> like, way. Why? I had actually two phases of bad brow moments. So I had ugly brows, so the over tweezed. And then after I, I learned my shape, I had really dark brows. Not like sharpie black, but like just really dark, heavily filled in brows. I feel like when I started filling in my brows, I was not filling them in dark enough. Mm -hmm. Ever since I got my brows microbladed, it's been way easier. Yeah. Did you already do your brows? Oh, you haven't? No, not yet. My brows is actually one of the last things I do. Really? Mm hmm I feel like that's one of the first things people do. I know, that's what I was thinking too. Cause like, when you watch like YouTubers, that's usually the first thing they have on, is their brows. Yeah, they like do their brows first. I do my eyes, my foundation, and then my brows. I always do my face makeup first. And I think the reason why is cause I've always done it that way, but now that I have lash extensions, like I don't need to put on eyeshadow or anything. Yeah. So I always do my face first, and then if I'm like feeling it, I'll do my eyes. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the time I just do my face makeup and then just go. So what do you do when you get fallout then? I ignore it. I really? pretend it's not there. Sometimes I'll take a brush and just like brush it off. I really don't get that much fallout because I feel like I'm not really heavy with my eyeshadow. Yeah. Like I like to build it up, but I, I only like dip my brush in a little bit at a time and then just like... Because I don't pack my brush um. and then like... So that's why I like my fallout. Like, yeah, like looking at her face, she doesn't have any Like fallout. I don't have any fallout right now and I'm using a pretty dark color. Mm -hmm. so. I only have a little bit, but it's because of the glitter. Who's your favorite beauty guru? As of right now, people that I always watch is um, Karen Sarai. So I love Sarai. I also really like Desi Perkins. 
I really love Sophia Chang because she has the same eyelid shape as me and the way that she does her eyeliner is very similar in a way. Who do you like to watch? Um, my favorite beauty influencer is Desi Perkins. She's so good. Like, she's I love her. She's so good. Like, I don't know what it is, but she does her makeup. She's so precise. She blends everything out so well. She I has feel a like good she's, personality. She has a really good personality, and she's she's very professional. Like, you can tell that she doesn't just slap her makeup on. Mm -hmm. Like, she precisely is making every stroke, like, perfect. Yeah. And even when you watch her do someone else's makeup as well, she's very like light with her hands and she knows like what she's doing. And she's always like finding new tips and tricks and stuff to teach people. Mm -hmm. She's never in the middle of any drama because mm -hmm. I feel like the beauty industry has a lot of drama. Of drama. For sure. So. But like the thing that I love is that when she gets her makeup done by other makeup artists, yeah. they can like actually like tell that she's a good person and I love that. What color should I put in the middle? Like a bright gold. Ooh. Dazzling is pretty. Or rose gold. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards this. You're going more more like cool tone. Cool tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay, guys, this is the color that Dawn's putting on. You see How it? do you make the camera focus? <laughs> How do they do it? They're always like... <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I don't have monolids, but this eye has two creases. I can see that. And this eye has one. I was just born like that. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I was born with I that. don't think anyone asked to be born, because I didn't. So in my vlogs, Dawn, I always say, Oh, I'm, I'm going out to eat with a coworker today. It's Dawn. She's in like every single vlog that I have. It's me. We literally go to lunch all the time. All the time. So tell me about working at Sephora. What was like your favorite part of that? Like the discounts, the perks? I think Did you learn a lot <laughs> about makeup while you were there? Yes. So like it's so funny because when I look at all my pictures, you can tell like what stage I was when I was working at Sephora because I know that for a fact that my makeup, like my makeup skills have improved over time. It's a good place to work if you're just starting out, not for a career in my opinion. I also loved the fact that I got to know so many people and I got to know a lot of brand partners as well, which was like the bulk of my job. So my job was to make sure that everyone that was visiting our store that was a brand partner got scheduled right, their events were taken care of. That was the my most favorite part of my Sephora career. What foundation are you using? I am using Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is like the best foundation I've ever used. So I had been using Too Faced Born This Way, which is, it's good. It's like a really good, um, like medium coverage foundation. Mm -hmm. It would like crease around my nose and stuff. And I really don't like that. So I only wear that foundation if I'm like, oh, I don't want to use my expensive foundation on my face. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if like the occasion is just like, oh, I'm going to work, I'll probably just use that. So I just primed my face. I'm ready for foundation. Today, I think I'm gonna do funny the born this way and then a pump of mac studio fits i feel like every time i buy foundation i'm more tan than i think i am mm -hmm. for some reason i'm always like oh i'm like so light i don't have a tan at all so i'll buy a foundation that's like four shades lighter than my actual skin tone oh my gosh yeah and then i'm always like well crap I can't use this, like, mm -hmm. it, or I'll bronze up my face a lot. That's what I really like. Like, I'd rather have a lighter foundation and then bronze down. And I feel like I'd rather have that. But I know some people like to have a darker foundation, but I'd rather use bronzer. I got this powder. Oh, what is that? So this is the Becca Hydramus Set and Refresh Powder. That's good for her since she's dry. It goes on like cold really? it's like cold when you put it on it's crazy do you use it all over no i just do because my skin is so dry i just do like under my eyes and a little bit in the middle of my forehead and a little bit on my chin mm -hmm. and around my nose have you used the the tarte shape tape concealer yeah 
what's your thoughts on it? Because like you guys know, like the the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is like legendary. Everyone loves it, and everyone has it as a holy grail. Yeah. Um, I really like it. That's what I use to prime my eyes. It's very, very full coverage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's definitely full coverage. I don't know if it's like a holy grail though for me. Maybe I just need to use it more. My holy grail is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Like, that's like OG for me. I think that's one of the very first concealers I ever bought. Um, do you use the NARS Radiant Foundation? So, funny story about that, when it first came out, I was like, oh, I'm down to try it. So I tried it a couple times, but for some reason, like, it would look good everywhere but around my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, like, around my mouth, it would just look, like, patchy and, like, Do you want to try this powder? Yes, I will try that. Have you ever tried it? Mm-mm. Okay. We should do an another video where we swap makeup bags. Swap makeup bags and try each other's makeup? We should. We That'd should. Thumbs up if you want that video. <laughs> This is like, I feel like a lot of people think that when I first started my channel that I wanted to be a YouTuber, which it's like, I just want to make videos and like show people this is my life. I actually don't really You're know if I want to be. Fun. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think I actually want to be a YouTuber. I don't. There's a lot of drama and like your whole life is like out there, you know? Mm hmm. Like, you can't have anything private. Right. So, that's just like one thing about becoming a YouTuber. Like, you're risking your privacy and all that kind of stuff. It says, keep me close to keep me cool. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm going to change your life with this. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of nervous. Oh. That's Doesn't weird. Doesn't that feel amazing? That's weird. I love it. It, like, feels wet. I know. What's your next thing? Brows? Yeah. Oh, you use the brow divider? Um, this is like a knockoff version of it. <laughs> um, my mom bought this on Wish. But I've been using this thing forever. Mm -hmm. And I still have so much of it left. Because it goes on like black. Yeah. So I have to be like very light with it. Look, Dawn and I both have Positions Formula. My it's skin. such a good bronzer. So good. Like you guys are missing out. It smells so good. Yeah, this is a drugstore one, and it's only like twelve dollars. Yeah, so. I feel like this is such a good dupe for Hula from Benefit. Have you tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics? Yes, I have her Vacation Palette. I have not tried her blush. You want to try it? That looks I have so good. These guys too. What's your favorite Kylie product? I actually really like her bronzers, and her blushes are really good too. But I'm gonna try Kylie Cosmetics. Pink Power Blush. I'm gonna have to dig in it. It reminds me of like the MAC blushes. Yeah. You know how they have that film on top of it? Mm -hmm. The one thing that I love is bronzer. Oh my I will bronze the shit out of my face. I love bronzer. That's my favorite part of doing my makeup. My friend Olivia was doing um, my makeup once mm -hmm. and she was like barely putting any bronzer on my face. And you're like, and you better like, slap that on. I was like, bitch, listen. <laughs> Do you know how much bronzer I put on my face? You gotta carve out these cheekbones, okay? Right. Do you use a lot of highlighter? I use a shit ton of highlighter, okay? What, I'm not What's proud your of favorite it. highlighter? So I have the Dose of Colors, Desi. Is that Fuego? Desi and Katie Fuego. I've this heard is really one good of my favorite it. ones. I also have Jouer highlighter in like rose quartz mm -hmm. and it's like a pink undertone mm -hmm. but it like you swipe one swipe on it and it's I, like yeah i feel like the jouet um anything jouet but especially their highlighters are really really pigmented and just blinding are there any steps up you feel like you have to just be quiet when you do because mine is like my brows oh eyeliner if i'm doing eyeliner i will not speak or breathe for 20 minutes. I wish you didn't have lashes because I want to see what your eyeliner What my natural like. face looks no, like. No, your, your eyeliner. <laughs> it's just like a normal wing. I want to see how you do it. If I do one eye and then I do the other eye, mm -hmm. the wing is like different angles. So that's why I have to concentrate so hard. Oh shoot, my brows look dark. No, they don't. Wait, look at me. Bitch, have you seen mine? <laughs> Mine are dark. Mine are literally like black. 
I'm gonna contour my nose. Do you contour your nose? No, but should I? I feel like I should now. I feel like once you start, you won't stop. I just like don't really know it's, how. It's constantly. definitely unnecessary. Like nobody actually needs to do this, but. I tried doing it the other day, but I don't know if I liked it. Overboard. Mm -hmm. See, that's my problem. I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm going to dive into this blush. Do you use fragile? Yeah. What do you use? I use Benefit Gimme Brow. Oh, that one's so popular. It's so good. Usually, when I have like my brows freshly microbladed, mm -hmm. I just like to use this because it really fills in the spots. Yeah. Um, but naturally. I feel like we just started. Or you could just like not post it. Speed the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah. And then just put music over it. How do you feel about like lip plumpers and like Botox and stuff like that? I've had lip fillers. Really? Uh huh. Did you like it? I love it. It. Like my lips would not look like this right now without them. Seriously? And mine are very natural, yeah. I didn't even know. I used to not have lips. How bad does it hurt? Um, so the place that I go to, they do a dental block, so they like numb your whole freaking mouth, so you can't feel anything. Wow. But it makes you bruise worse. Oh really? Yeah, when you do that. Did you put highlighter on? Mm-hmm. I I used the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I probably shouldn't have used this. Why? Because I did. Too I'm warm. A, I'm cool toned today. Take yeah, it off. I'll take it off. Here. Do you have like a cool toned um, highlighter? Mm. I have Moonstone. No, that's not. Pearl is going to be better. Yeah, like a white undertone. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I used everything like pinky today. Dude, Dawn's eye makeup looks so good. Oh. Dang. Is this MAC? What is this? Becca. Becca kills it with the highlighters. They do. <laughs> oh my god. It looks good. Do you ever highlight your brow bone? Hardly ever. I don't know why, I'm just lazy. I don't ever highlight my nose. I love to highlight my nose. And my cupid's bow. Did you put any lip stuff on? Mm -hmm. I used this. What is that? It's the Style Nanda Velvet Lip Tint. It's like a, like a mousse. Oh. How are we gonna trim 50 plus minutes? Has it been an hour? Almost. Okay, well you just gotta cut a lot of this <laughs> shit out. I wanna start over. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> When one of, uh, one of, wait, when she's not at work or when I'm not at work and we're both working, you know it's gonna be a party. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Did we even answer Christian's question? Yeah, I feel like we did. And it, did we? I feel like, I feel like we did. Honestly, Sarah, I don't care. I know. What you have to say. Like, I had that too, that, oh. I don't want to do green. Okay, hold up. I feel like I'm a, I'm like a scared bitch. Like I, <laughs> I don't pack shit on my She's face. cautious. I'm cautious. She's not scared. That's Cause weird. she'll still do it. I don't know what you heard, but my camera just stopped recording. I don't know why it does that. So if you have a G7X, tell me why. <laughs> but the I'm most, insecure. The most awkward get ready with me ever. What's up everybody? Welcome back. I like putting on my bronzer until my face looks dirty. You think your manager's gonna watch your video? I, I'm kind of like hoping you just don't post this. 